Chris Sewell here, baseball card collector, investor, dealer in that order. Welcome everyone, high rollers time, and this week we're going to check out the latest PWCC Premier Auction. Uh, we do get a first timer, always like welcoming in the newbies, and we'll count down the top 10 after looking at some honorable mentions. As always, before we jump in, just want to mention real quick again that I'll be at the Burbank Sports Card Show this Saturday with uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Jeremy Donson, the Texas Snowman. I will be at a booth, uh, booth number 1325, so if you want to come by and say hi, please do, or, and if you want to set up an appointment ahead of time, our contact is in the uh, description below. All right, let's get to our list, but before we count down the top 10, we will look at some honorable mentions, and we will start with pre-war baseball. 1910 E98 set of 30 red background Ty Cobb graded a scorching PSA X Mint 6 gets the uh, uh, superior label from PWCC, meaning top 5% I appeal for the grade, just into five figures, $10,200. More Ty Cobb, 1911 T205 Gold Border graded an SGC X Mint 6, and this card is impossible. Any card from this set is really, really hard to get in this high grade. The Gold Border is very susceptible to chipping, $22,200. Jackie Robinson in his 1948 Leaf Rookie iconic card in the hobby. Great at PSA EX5. Gets the above average I appeal label from PWCC, meaning top 30% I appeal for the grade. $18,600 for this iconic beauty. Uh, Mickey Mantle, 1953 Bowman Color from our Blazer Division. Graded at PSA Near Mint Mint Plus 8.5. This would be a third year card. Tiny spit off standards, the only thing that uh, jumps out from here. Not much, but $30,300. More Mickey Mantle three years later, 1956 tops. This one's graded at PSA near Mint Mint 8, and it goes for $12,900. Jumping ahead three or four decades, whatever it is, 1999 Upper Deck Game Jersey Ken Griffey Jr. Patch Autograph. Uh, this might be his very first you know, patch autograph card. This one's serial numbered out of 24, graded a BGS Mint 9 with a 10 for the auto. It is a pop one of three, sorry, pop three with none higher. $20,700 for the kid. Juan Soto, 2016 Bowman Chrome. Apparently, this is a uh, Twitter blue refractor. Uh, first Bowman Chrome card autograph. Graded a PSA Mint 9, which is a pop one with none higher. Serial numbered out of just three, apparently. The uh, Twitter blue refractor, serial numbered out of three, but everybody knows that. PSA Mint 9 with a DNA, 10 for the auto, $27,600. Uh, this is a baseball card, 2023 Bowman Chrome, 95 Dream Red Refractor, Tom Brady Auto. Serial numbered out of five. Apparently Brady was briefly with the Montreal Expos minor league organization. Never had a card. I believe this card's photoshopped. I uh, forget the exact story, but uh, like I said, serial numbered out of five. It's uh, what goes for $37,200. I guess Tom Brady's first, you know, baseball card here in an SGC 10, uh, sorry, SGC 9.5 holder with a 10 for the auto. On to football, 1998 Bowman Chrome Golden Anniversary Refractor. Peyton Manning rookie. Super rare card. Uh, yeah, serial numbered out of five, so... Obviously super rare. Graded a PSA Mint 9. That is a pop 3 with none higher. $28,200. Uh, another qu uh, quarterback with multiple Super Bowl rings. Actually, Mahomes here now has 3. 2017 Panini Prism. Red Prism. Patrick Mahomes rookie. Graded a BGS Gem Mint 9.5. Subgrades are the minimum for the grade. $20,100. Uh, the quarterback that Mahomes just beat. 2022 National Treasures. Hollow Gold. Brock Purdy. Rookie Patch Auto. Graded a BGS Gem Mint 9.5, 10 for the auto card, a serial numbered out of just 10. And this is a pop three with none higher, $38,400. Switching over to basketball, 1997 Metal Universe Precious Metal Gems, Anthony Hardaway. Uh, graded a PSA Near Mint Mint 8. These are serial numbered out of 50, the PMGs are. And Penny Hardaway here goes for just short of $20,000. Uh, impressive sale there. 1998 Skybox Molten Metal Fusion Titanium, Allen Iverson. Card is still numbered out of 40. It's graded BGS Mint 9. Uh, it's a pop 3 with none higher. Cool card is the pinholes form a profile of Iverson on the right side of the card. $13,800. 2019 National Treasures uh, Zion Williamson Rookie Patch Auto. Serial numbered out of 99. Really nice three-color patch. It's a BGS Mint 9 with very, very strong subgrades. $19,500. There was a time just a few years ago when this card would have fetched into six figures. Moving on to hockey. 1997 Upper Deck Game Jersey. Wayne Gretzky patch auto, nice three color patch, and the card serial numbered out of 99 and number uh, serial numbered 99 of 99, and Gretzky wore number 99. So interesting aspect there. It's a PSA six, which is a pop four. Only one copy graded higher, $21,600. Sticking with Wayne Gretzky, here's a dual auto from 2015 UD Black Pro Penmanship. You got Wayne Gretzky and Connor McDavid. That's McDavid's rookie year. The card serial numbered out of five. It's a BGS Gem Mint 9.5, which is a Pop three with none higher, $15,600. Uh, 
Here's a card most of us, including myself, have probably never seen before. 1920 Helvetia Sport Regalo Enzo Ferrari. Graded at uh, an SGC Good Plus 2.5. It's a name in red variation, apparently. And uh, I'm going to assume that Enzo Ferrari is the person who invented Ferrari. My, my research department had the week off because of the Super Bowl, and I don't know how to use Google, so we'll go with that. $6,300. And we'll finish on a couple of non-sports. 1999 Pokemon Base Set Shadowless First Edition Hollow Charizard. Graded a PSA Gem Mint 10. $192,000. And 1993 Magic the Gathering Alpha Mox Jet, uh, also graded a PSA Gem Mint 10. This one also fetches six figures, $108,000. That is a pop four. But that brings us to our top 10. And tipping us off at number 10, 2003 Exquisite Collection Limited Logos Patch Autograph number KB, Kobe Bryant. It's graded a BGS Mint 9, uh, card serial numbered out of 75. You get a nice three color patch. So the subgrades are scattered but strong overall. 10 for centering and a weakest link of 8.5 for surface. The autograph gets a perfect 10. Sold for $42,000. Forget to mention that all the uh, prices include the buyer's premium. So the hammer price was less than this, but this is what the buyer is paying out of pocket to own the card. The most recent sale of a copy of this card that I could find was a PSA 7 selling about a year ago for $31,000. So yeah, compared to that one, this one more or less lines up. There were copies of this card in a BGS 9 selling for six figures in 2021 uh, during the peak of the, you know, the hobby price boom. Number nine, 2018 Topps Chrome Rookie Autograph Red Refractor, number SO, Shohei Otani Rookie, graded a PSA Mint 9, and the Red Refractor autos that year and most years are serial numbered out of just five. Sold for $43,200. The most recent sale of a copy of this card was back in October of 2023, so three, four months ago or so, when a PSA 10 sold for $93,000. So, yeah, compared to that one, this one seems fairly uh, fairly reasonable price-wise. It is a PSA Pop 2 with only one copy graded higher. Number 8, 1997 Finest Embossed Refractor, number 154, Michael Jordan. Graded a BGS Mint 9 with strong subgrades, 3 9s, and a 9.5 for centering. The finest embossed refractors that year were serial numbered out of uh, 74. Sold for $43,200. The most recent uh, example of the sale of this card was a PSA 9 selling just a couple of months ago for $81,000. So the PSA 9 selling roughly double the uh, BGS 9 here. Number seven, more Jordan, 2003 UD Glass 1-2 Combo Jersey Autograph, Kobe Bryant and Michael Jordan. It's graded at PSA Gem Min 10. This card is serial numbered out of 10, and uh, both of the patches are one color. I guess the Jordan has a little tiny bit of red there in the, uh, the, the corner of his patch. This sold for $51,600. Uh, this is a Pop 1. It is the only copy to exist in a PSA 10, but this exact copy has actually sold three times with the most recent being uh, just under a year ago for 63000 so down about 20% from, uh, from early 2023. Number 6, 1958 Alpha Bolaget, number 635, Pele Rookie. It's graded a PSA X Mint 6 and looks uh, super sharp from here on the front and uh, also on the back. And yeah, it gets the uh, PWCC Exceptional Eye Appeal label, meaning top 15% uh, eye appeal for the grade. Sold for $52,800. The most recent sale in a similar grade was a PSA 7, so one grade higher, going for $85,000. That was just a month ago. So, yeah, this one basically lines up with that one. It is a PSA Pop 8, and there are 25 copies graded higher. Uh, no 10s have ever been given out. Number 5, talked about this card earlier in a video this week. 2022 Bowman University Prospects Autograph Super Fractor Caitlin Clark First Bowman Chrome Card graded a PSA Gem Mint 10 with a DNA 10 for the auto. Uh, the card is a one of one or the one of one as Super Fractors tend to be. Sold for $78,000. This is Clark's first ever appearance on a high rollers list. Welcome, Caitlin. And this card set a number of records. It is the all-time record sale for a female basketball player card. It's also the uh, all-time record sale for any female sports card uh, not, uh, not named Serena Williams. And it is obviously a PSA Pop 1. 
Number four, here's an example of why I appeal matters so much. 1952 tops, number 311, Mickey Mantle. Uh, the card's graded a PSA VG3, maybe the most iconic sports card of all time. But uh, look at this card. I mean, it looks way better than a three. It's centered really well in both directions. Uh, very, very little to complain about. Surface looks great. Edges and corners look nice. Corners are tipped, but not, not too bad. Uh, back looks really, really clean. I'm not sure why this got a three. Probably there's some minor technical thing about it, like a surface wrinkle or something, but obviously looks much, much sharper than a three. It gets the PWCC exceptional eye appeal label, top 5% I appeal for the grade. Uh, sorry, top 15% I appeal for the grade. Sold for $105,000, and this uh, sale is insanely high for a PSA 3. In fact, the average, uh, well, there were five sales of a PSA 3 in 2023, and they were all in the 50s, or sorry, they ranged from 48,000 up to 57,000. So this PSA 3 here basically going for double what you would call sort of current market value, and the uh, I appeal certainly plays a big role in that. Number three, MJ, showing up strong here. 1997 Skybox Z Force Super Rave, number 190, Michael Jordan. Graded a PSA Gem Mint 10, and the Super Raves this year were serial numbered out of 50, and this one's serial numbered 01 of 50 for uh, for whatever that is worth. But this card sold for $108,000. It is the all-time record sale of this card in any grade by a very, very wide margin. The previous high was a BGS 9.5, selling for $35,000 back in April of 2021. So this card basically tripling the all-time record it's the first sale of a PSA 10 in over in about six years, and the card is a uh, PSA Pop, uh, just a PSA Pop 3. Number two, 2022 Panini Instant FIFA World Cup Qatar Autograph Black, number 118, Lionel Messi. Uh, it's graded a PSA Mint 9 with a DNA 10 for the auto, and Panini Instant uh, sort of cards representing specific moments in time. This card representing arguably the greatest soccer player of all time, winning his. Uh, first and only World Cup with Argentina in 2022, and this card is uh, the one of one. Sold for $126,000, no comps to go off of, uh, the card's a 101, and this is the first time it's ever sold, so uh, there you go, 126 k is what it is worth as of today. And number one, Michael Jordan with his fourth appearance in the top 10 here, 1986 Fleer, number 57, Michael Jordan rookie, Graded a PSA Gem Mint 10, and the card gets the NBA Silver sticker, meaning I don't know exactly what that means. Strong eye appeal, I don't know how strong. Uh, interestingly, it does not get a PWCC eye appeal label, so PWCC did not consider it top 30% eye appeal for the grade, but NBA did give it a silver sticker. Again, I don't know exactly what all this means, but sold for $216,000. The sale's definitely on the high side. Uh, the, well, the, the four sales before this were all under 200 although just under 200 with the average of recent sales being about 192. So this is cards, you know, 10 to 15% or so higher than uh, what you would call sort of current market value for a Gem Mint 10 copy. But that's it. This week's top 10 featured four Michael Jordan, two Kobe Bryant, and one each of Pele, Shohei Otani, Lionel Messi, Mickey Mantle, and newcomer Caitlin Clark. Thank you everyone for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you all again next time. Thanks everyone.